Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Grudgebringers playthrough here in Total War Warhammer 2, where we are pushing against the Skaven quite hard and fast here, um, doing the best we can anyway, we, we, we're trying to take out the Skaven, I suspect this isn't Skaven here, I also suspect that the places behind me I've just taken are going to crumble fairly quickly, annoyingly, but it is what it is. Uh, we do have a small defensive force back here, just in case something sneaks by. And everybody wants goddamn peace with me. Which just ain't happening. Not peace, uh, non-aggression pacts and stuff with me. I said they want to be peaceful with me, they need to speak to Reichland. They're my paymasters. You know, Franz is the person who pays my wages, as far as I'm concerned, so yeah. I mean, okay, my settlements do, but you know what I mean. I am permanently allied to him, so... We aren't doing what we do for our own glory. Well, more than just our own glory. It is our own glory to an extent, but it's all for the glory of Reichland. Oh, Grimgore's odd boys have grown a bit. It's actually a bit annoying. Kurza Karak has been confederating nicely. The Grimgore's odd boys have been uh, damaged substantially from the looks of it as well, so. Not too worried. Um, yeah. As mentioned though guys, uh, this is all pre-recorded, so... Yeah. <laughs> Words failing me. All pre-recorded guys, so this is obviously designed to be dropping because I've got the new DLC coming out, which might already be out by the time you see this one. So this is all pre-recorded, so any comments and things. While they are more than welcome because they do help, uh, I might not be able to act on them quickly for obvious reasons. <clears throat> Too easy! Too goddamn easy! Transfer to the Empire! Yes, my lord. Gained one Imperial unit. <gasps> nice! Hellblaster Rocket Battery. Not that I'm actually going to be recruiting them at the moment, but yeah. To the provinces! Oh, that's why it's been saying I have a building there. Nope. No, it's still doing it. Maybe not. Um. Oh, so much weapon damage. I could get that banner and assign it to myself. Because the one thing this unit lacks. It's still got 72 melee attack. To be fair. <laughs> Still fairly goddamn tough. I should have moved further up. Uh, we're going to go to Karag Orand, which is not going to be an easy battle. Uh, I suspect the Skaven are going to be built up there quite a lot, which will make things annoying. I'm fairly sure I can beat them, but, well, it depends what they've actually got in the settlement. Um... I love that the Empire probably has more territory down here at the moment. Um, well, not necessarily, but certainly around here than I do, the, than they do back home. As I said, I really do think the fact we're splitting them between the two places it makes them struggle massively. Come then, only six. Nope. I mean, I could basically ally with half of that at this point. I would love to deal with the end times with these guys, but I just don't think the end times going to actually happen. That was a rebellion, so I'm not actually particularly fussed by that. We march. Raise Sigma. It is time. Moving off. Ready. Hmm. So. I don't want to be expanding up that way. The Empire can deal with that themselves. That's not my aim at the moment. My aim is the Skaven. If they become a threat, I will go and deal with them. But otherwise, I'm not that fast. You can get Root Marcher. Let's end turn. Um, and soon we will be pressuring into the Skaven. Massively. Um, 
And hopefully the Empire will actually be able to hold on to some goddamn territory around here. Uh, I suspect probably not, but if they're big enough, they will. Um, the main thing is we're disrupting all the territory down there. But as I said, I do think you actually end up weakening the Empire quite substantially doing this. It's where I kind of wish it would be very good using the Nakai mechanic, where it gave it created a... a, a a dummy faction which belonged to you and could you could gain bonuses from depending on how powerful it was. I've still got to do an Akai the Wanderer playthrough because I don't really know how exactly how that works because I've never played him. Daft as it sounds. <clears throat> Maybe something for soon, especially as he's a wandering faction with all Nakai the Wanderer with the new chaos mechanic which is coming in or come in depending on when this happens. Where you can have a legendary chaos invasion. Oh, yes. Uh, no, you're still at war with the Empire. While you're at war with the Empire, there is no peace with me. It is war. Ooh. Actually, it's an easy auto, though. Battle. Transfer to the what Empire. This will bolster the nation. That was their capital, guys. <laughs> Gained another Imperial unit. One day we'll gain something really shiny in there. That's actually quite useful. I'm not really fussed by the wizards. I am going to get that for the um, removing corruption for the areas we move through. To up the defense a bit more as well. Good God. And these guys are already incredibly armored. Um... Yeah, I am quite happy with how this is going. We are expanding the Empire. Nope. Uh, crushing the Skaven. I suspect the Skaven are in more places around, but I don't know where their main army went. Uh, they did definitely had a big army with Queek, which has gone somewhere. Um, which is why we've still got our defensive force. I mean, there's a lot of terrain around here which I can't see. Which I'm going to have to go through and burn my way through long term. So we'll probably clear here. We'll pull, push down here. Um, I might peace out with these guys. But I'll push down here. Clear up. And then, then push back up into the Badlands. Is, is at least the plan. Friend and make your offer. Nope. Because uh, plans change. Hmm. You know, I think I need to do a Nakai the Wanderer playthrough at some point, so I'll probably do that. When the DLC drops, I'll probably start a Nakai the Wanderer playthrough because, literally, I, I have to do something, and that seems as good a something as any because I will be in a very weird, wonderful position where I've got to choose to do something and no mods will work. I want replenishment. I'm going to stay in the Empire Territory for extra replenishment. Because the second I cross over here, it Let us drops off immensely. And we're going to go take there our next turn. Yes. It is. It's one of the things I love about Horde Factions, is the game actually goes so much faster. There he is! Sneaking in behind me, the little monster. Uh, I knew that was going to happen, to be fair. Ooh, I've encountered the trolls. I didn't necessarily know where it was going to happen, but I did know it was going to happen, so... At some point. I may get my other army moving now, actually. I'm going to put throw some units into my other army and get it moving, because it's relatively safe where it is. We've got good good enough walls now, so... It is good to see fellows. No! 
I'll trade with anybody. I should... Ooh, yeah, that's what I should do. I am going to recruit a hero to go and uh, say hello to the elves. Because I don't actually know them. And I could definitely be trading with them. Oh! Oh! There we go! End times! The armies of chaos are on the move. They surely plan to invade the world of mortals once again. Prepare your defenses well, for the forces of chaos spare no one in their quest for bloodshed. Ooh, chaos dwarfs there. Zartan the Black. The rise of chaos. It's not the full chaos invasion yet, so. What does the Emperor bid? I will marshal the men. I'm going to head that way to start with. What? It is for the best. Let us forge our faith. Your entire job is going to be going up here and saying hello to the elves. Rug. Greetings, Sigma. Yes, please. So, go on then. Lots of trade agreements. Duty. Oh, I do know the elves then. And your time here. My solemn duty. Not all the elves, however. Elf ones defend. I am the heir. Actually, I suspect that's all that's left of the elves. Not, okay. As you say. That's fine then. I won't bother sending somebody over here. Do you know who? Hail, fellow nation of men. Yes. He can go and try and join that army then. But no, I'm just going to kick him. The nation calls. <laughs> to war! Oh god, it's too easy. Move! Extra gold! Do not let my death mask unnerve you. Approach and talk to me. So she'll peace, but she just won't uh, pay me. That's fine. My will. I will marshal the bed. It is for the best. Take up the pen. My main aim at the moment is the Skaven, so yeah. Not enough. Clash there. I'm not overly worried by him. Okay. Ooh. Uh, yes. Extra defense. Extra leadership. <laughs> not that we really need it, but. Um. Oh, there's a queaky. Who's double timed potentially into range of me? We're we gonna have a fun fight. I do love having a hero who is an entire unit rather than a single unit. I do miss that from other Total War games. Um, it would actually be a nice thing. It would be tricky how they could implement it. So if your heroes, rather than being individual heroes, were all units in this. Uh, nope, you're still at War of the Empire. Really interesting. So rather than Karl Franz being an individual unit, he was a cavalry, a really solid cavalry unit, and he was powerful because of his cavalry. But it doesn't really fit this style of game, I guess, because it's it's Warhammer. So he is a hero. So you can't really have a realism mode for this, I guess. <laughs> Pretty interesting mod, however, guys. If any modders are listening. Mm, 
one can basically start them with a unit of infantry, and when you gave them cavalry, it becomes a unit of cavalry. Obviously, it doesn't really work with things which get like dragons, but. To the provinces, to strengthen the empire. Oh, you foolish little head taker. Goodbye. I've got to fight this one. It may be an easy battle, but it's got to be fought because, you know, we are fighting against Queek Head Taker. Beautiful position as well. Um, this is not going to be a subtle battle. It does not need to be a subtle battle. We are going to slam into them just straight head on in there. Um, and blow fireballs through them to wipe them out. Uh, massed cavalry charge as they come through that gap, basically. Why would I want not have anything on the front line? Charge! No subtlety! Here comes the first shot! Boom! <laughs> dragony, 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 dragon. Breathe. No, 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 not that, not that. Further back. Obviously, maybe I shouldn't have put all my cavalry into one place, but. So my cavalry are deep inside the enemy. This works well for us because we get to do this now. Yes, Hang on. Performance mode on. Nice. So performance mode is on OBS because it shows a, uh, what I record with, because it shows a um, an image of what you're actually doing. And sometimes that can cause quite a lot of lag in big battles like this. <clears throat> Oh, it's glorious. It's still getting a bit of lag, but a bit of frame rate issues, but not too bad. Oh, something broke through. I mean, we basically just cleaved a line into them and we're just holding there. Um, with all my glorious cavalry. I do love the look of these guys. What are you guys doing? I didn't give you an order to go somewhere else. You can go down here and breathe on from the side. Soon you're going to have another fire. The second we get that other fire, this whole thing is over. Maybe over before that, even. I don't think they're going to hold nine more seconds, guys. Gonna hit my own units a little bit here, but it is what it is. Oof! Yeah, I, I kind of hurt my dwarves quite badly there. Oh god, they're not even, you know, exhausted yet. They're just tired. Oh god, you run. You run. I forgot about you. Oh good god, I may have lost my cannon. Not that I really care. Attack the 
Wow. It's literally pushed through now. I know I've got the head taker there. You guys can go and take him on. That No, 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 no. You guys can't. Elfie, 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 Elfie. I know he's going to leg. Cedron the Lone Ranger. But he's just being called Elfie. They, they, they hit that unit with something nasty, but... Beautiful. <laughs> oh, I mean, it was always an easy battle. Um, there was never any doubt as to the outcome of that battle, but it had to be done because it was destroying Queek. No subtlety in my tactics. I, I probably could have been subtle, but I didn't need to be subtle. I could have been more subtle and done something fancy, and I would have had the same result. When there's no need to do something fancy, when you know full well you can just slam yourself into them like that, using my lord as the as the, the sort of wedge at the head, as the spearhead, uh, to take all the damage when he's not going to take any damage, I know I can get away. Now, I could have maybe looked after these guys a bit better, but do I care I lo if I, even if I lose it? Not really, because I can just rehire it. But no, having my lord like that as the spearhead, where all the damage is focused on his unit, which is basically indestructible... Um, yeah. There's no reason to worry about it, for us to worry about it. Um, and in fact, all that, uh, subtle, careful, really well, really sneaky tactic would have done is slowed us down. Nice, and that's got my leadership up to 66. What does the Emperor bid? Moving off! Let's go support there. They are taking a bit of attrition. Can we have to take out their next turn? Approach us, friend. And... Slowly getting there. And the Empire does seem to be getting the upper hand up there as well now. Interestingly, they're not going for the Orc, Orc Rebels. That does surprise me a bit. I may struggle to take them on my own. I thought the Empire were going to attack them. I probably should have um, directed them at that. Welcome, my countrymen. It is good to see fellow sons of... Nope, I don't care. This is kind of where I wish I'd gone north and played up in the north rather than down in the south because I could have gone and faced off against the, the, the forces of chaos at this point, but they're too goddamn far away for me to care about. Oops. I'm going to have to do a playthrough with the forces of the Chaos Invasion being on Legendary, so it literally just destroys the world. Oh my god. To the provinces. On march. Kill them all. Raise your weapons. Let us move. Raise Sigma. Oh, that's why. Uh, you can push down there to support here. What does the Emperor bid? Hmm. There we go. And that's actually where we're going to leave it for today, guys. So we've expanded the Empire nicely down here. As always, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you are enjoying this playthrough. One or two episodes left, guys. Um, so, yeah, because simply because of the way we've got to record this before the new DLC launches. But I'll get as much as I can done first. But obviously, got to spend time with family. Oh, they get a bit annoyed. Thank you very much, though, to everybody for watching. And please do like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this. Cheers, all.